people be so desperate for your attention, especially when they think so highly of you. And they, when they initially met you, when you were so nice, they thought that they would be able to get you to kiss their behinds. But because you're not like that, now they're desperate for your attention, but they won't, they don't want to speak to you because that will give you too much power. That, that's, what they, that's how they feel in their heads. It will give you too much power if they came and spoke to you. So they do everything to try to get you to see them and try to talk to them. But they try to do it in slick ways where they won't directly address you. They'll try to talk extra loud so that way you can jump into conversations with them. Or they'll even indirectly talk about you without mentioning your name. So that way you can jump into conversation. Uh, I had a coworker recently telling a story about something that happened last week. And last week when I was sitting next to her when this thing happened, she knew it was me. So she was rehashing the story to somebody else. And she was like, I don't know who was sitting there last week. I don't know who it was. But there was a girl outside going crazy. And I'm like, you know it was me sitting next to you. You just don't want to give me the power that you feel like you're giving me by mentioning my name so you're going to say you don't know who it was. This is the stuff they do. And this is not just one person. This is not just some story that happened last week. This has been happening to me all my life. People will, they will indirectly address me. They'll be like, I don't know who, but somebody, or even say you smell good. You got on a nice perfume. Instead of saying you smell good, they'll say, somebody smells good somebody i don't know what that is but something smell good like you know it's me just say i smell good but you just you just can't do it because i threaten you you're threatened by me it's just crazy chosen one so that's how you know you chosen also um they'll do it with your food at lunch you'll have say you eating tacos so they'll be like something smell good it smelled like some some and they'll say exactly what it is it smelled like some black bean avocado tacos you know i got black bean avocado tacos you just don't want to directly speak to me so you trying to talk out loud so i could say oh those are mine and then you can start a conversation with me no I'm not falling for that no more. I used to, even though I never was tricked by it, I used to be so empathetic that I, I'm like, okay, this girl's thirsty for my attention. Let me just go ahead and talk to her. I don't do that no more. Thank God I've grown. Thank God I know my strength, my power. Um, and I starve them from attention. I starve on my attention. Like I starved one of my coworkers from attention so bad the other day. She was so thirsty to talk to me. I ended up talking to another coworker and she, she was just so thirsty and on edge and so desperate for my attention that when I said something to the other coworker, she was like, huh, you talking to me? Girl, you know I'm not talking to you. You just so thirsty. You've been on edge on the edge of your seat all day waiting for me to say something to you. And you couldn't wait till I opened my mouth and I'm not talking to you, babe. And even still, she jumped in our conversation. She jumps in all my conversations. She follows me around the office. It's just ridiculous. Oh, so if this happens to you, you're definitely a chosen one. You definitely got power. You definitely got a light within you that irritates people, but they're also attracted to it like moss. <sighs> it's draining, y'all. I do this every day of my life. <laughs> every day of my life, man. I just talked to God the other day and I'm like, God, am I... Am I ever supposed to fit in or am I never supposed to fit in? Can you just let me know? Because I'll stop trying. I mean, I don't really be trying to fit in, but I do desire to fit into the right groups for me. Um, and sometimes I wonder, I have to get more into the Bible. Like I'm reading the Bible every day. I'm just not at this part yet. Um, like, am I supposed to be on this path by myself? Because if I know that is for sure, then I can accept it and then I won't be out here trying to fit in and you know trying to find friend groups because i'll just chill if that's the case but y'all they are they'd be desperate to talk to you about anything i had this coworker come up to me today and tell me something so pointless and she ran to my desk and tried to tell me like it was a secret she's like oh tiana she always say my name like that <laughs> she's like tiana i'll be like yeah <laughs> she's like oh i'm gonna come over to you came over to tell me that she gonna I don't even want to say it out loud she came over to my desk to tell me something stupid I'm like you just wanted me to know that about you because you want another thing chosen ones they want to make you so proud it's almost like you are their parent or they they look up to you but they don't want to let you know that they look up to you 
because they love you and they hate you it's crazy so they look up to you so they'll tell you all of their little baby accomplishments because they want you to be so proud i'm like okay cool and I need to work on being even more like, cause I'm too empathetic. Like even when I'm be like, that's stupid, but I'm still like, she needs the attention. Let me give it to her. I'm so empathetic, but uh, 